What is power over Ethernet? Wikipedia states that PoE or power over Ethernet is the process where systems send electrical power over the same data cabling as the Ethernet transmission. In this manner, the data cabling can send both the data transmission and power to certain devices. Power is injected onto the cable at a voltage between 44 and 57 volts DC and typically 48 volts is used. Therefore the voltage is designed and deemed to be safe for users of the equipment. Furthermore, if equipment that is not designed to receive PoE transmission is plugged into the transmission lines, damage can occur. PoE plus. The IEEE 802.3 at PoE plus specification incorporated an extension to the original IEEE 802.3 AF PoE standard. Firstly, this was implemented to provide more power to devices that operate on PoE transmissions. Secondly, the 802.3 AF PoE standard provides up to 15.4 watts of power, or 48 volts DC at 0.32 amps to each device. Furthermore, the maximum power output with PoE Plus increases to 25.5 watts, or 48 volts DC at 0.52 amps when that power is sustained, and a peak power limit of 30 watts, or 48 volts DC at 0.63 amps. Power over Ethernet provides an economical answer to our power and data requirements. Over the past decade, our lives have become increasingly reliant on a vast array of devices that support and control the environment in which we live and work. Our way of life is interwoven with technology. Not only in terms of mobile phones and the internet, but also an astounding network of cameras and sensors. These cameras subsequently monitor and regulate the world around us. This is a trend that is set to continue as the Internet of Things comes of age. We have sought to centralize much of the infrastructure that manages this technology. Furthermore, we have created networks of environmental sensors, lighting controls and security devices. Typical applications. The types of devices that are best suited to PoE connectivity remain in a fixed position and have a low power draw. PoE is particularly useful for connecting disparate and geographically dispersed devices to your network. Furthermore, without having to add a separate power source or additional cabling. Common examples include 1. Wi-Fi access points 2. VoIP telephones 3. CCTV cameras 4. Access control 5. Intercoms 6. Mobile boosters these devices require both power and data connections to function. All of these devices require fixed power sources and data network connectivity to operate effectively. In addition, most require a high level of resiliency and are therefore unsuited to battery power or wireless network connections. Additionally, as you expand your network to include more nodes and user devices, creating separate power and data solutions becomes an arduous and expensive task. As an alternative, passive power over Ethernet PoE patch panels can be used as part of a cost-effective solution for distributing power to where it is needed. In addition to offices, this includes the home, campus or other environment. Patch panels are a vital part of an Ethernet cabling solution for organizing and managing cable connections. They maximize the effectiveness of the IT cabling by delivering power and data to where it is needed. While there are other cabling solutions that provide both power and data, such as USB, PoE is suitable for far longer distances. Power over Ethernet data cabling. The choice on data cabling will make an impact on the performance of the PoE cabling and its devices. CAT5e and CAT6 can be installed to support PoE devices but the industry consensus is that CAT6a should be the standard for these installations. The following guidelines for CAT6A installations will improve the performance of your PoE devices. Number 1. Avoiding tightly packed cables will increase performance. Cables that are tightly packed together increase the overall heat and heat within each cable. Being tightly packed, the heat cannot disperse as easily and performance suffers. CAT6A cables usually have a greater insertion loss margin to handle increased heat that is generally created by cables that are tightly packed together. Number 2. With regards to size, CAT6A cables have a greater gauge diameter in their cores and therefore cable size. Therefore reduced resistance and therefore lower temperature when compared to lesser grade cables. 
It's been determined that in a Cat 5e cable, 20% of power can be lost in transmission. Number 3. As the above mentions, the loss in Cat 5e is less in a Cat 6a cable. Reducing that 20% loss in power will not only lead to better transmission and operation, but also reduced electrical costs to run your systems and devices. Electromagnetic interference. To help prevent electromagnetic interference when using PoE, it is important that the patch panel is properly grounded. This type of disturbance, if not guarded against, can have a serious detrimental effect on performance. Most panels are supplied with a grounding bolt for this purpose. Long-term outlook. PoE patch panels will become an ever more important part of any structured cabling solution. Furthermore, it will be required, as the plethora of interconnected devices continues to grow. Finally, our environments at work and home become increasingly smart. Indeed, PoE will emerge as the most dependable and cost-effective method of supplying power and data to the network. Hardware such as cameras, sensors and telecommunications equipment that we have become increasingly reliant on. We offer free surveys, and during these surveys, we will be able to discuss those requirements and offer you the best solution. For a free quotation, please visit our website, nmcabling.co.uk, or call at 01923888588.